Today we're reacting to the Quibble Cup Draw My Life. But it's not drawn by Lots me. Lots of you requested. It's also not made by no, wait. me. wait. Bombarded me with requests to draw the life of Quibble Cup yes! as Logo Man. My life. So that's exactly what we're going to oh, do Oh, yes. We're drawing Quibble Cup's life. Whoa. And Slogo Man's life is coming okay, soon. Okay, let's go. So stay tuned for that one. If you don't know who Quibble Cop is, let me break it down. For yes, you. please. Quibble Cop, that's me. AKA Jordy, oh, so is a handsome. massive YouTuber with a fan base of 11 million <laughs> subscribers. Yo, really quickly, I have green eyes. I I got green eyes. I'll take blue eyes, but I'm an exotic boy. When you see his videos, you'll say he's so happy and funny and amazing. I tried well, to be. He is all of those things. <laughs> but many people don't know that Jordy had a very rough childhood. I did he a little bit, guys. In his life. From his parents' divorce to his father's death. Yes. He's been through a lot. He worked very hard to reach where he is now, and he deserves it. Thank in you. In this video, Thank I've you. covered it all. So let's I'm go curious. right into I'm the I'm curious video. to see if he gets things right and if he th gets things wrong. Quebble Cop's real name is Jordy Maxim Vandenbush. I'm quite Bush. sure he I got mispronounced it. it. He got just it. Just like I mispronounced <laughs> Jelly's name. But anyways, he was born on June 1st, 1995 in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Jordy has an elder sister named Lauren. They, with their parents, live in Amsterdam. When Jordy was two years old, his dad and mom got divorced. That's After correct. the divorce, the kids started to live two days of the week at their dad's place and five days at mom's. Jordy was not so good at studies. His school officials always used to call his mom to school because of his poor marks. No, 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 no. I was, I did pretty good at school. I, nobody ever called my mom for my bad marks. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he was around 10 years old. Jordy was made to go through a test and they found out that he had dyslexia. That's correct. Dyslexia is a learning disorder and kids who have this condition need some extra attention and teaching. Only in language, guys. Dyslexia is only in language. I was really good at math and a bunch of other things, just not the Dutch language. When Jordy was 11 years old, his mom got remarried. No, 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 no. My mom never got remarried. She just found a new boyfriend. That was all. Stepdad was into alcohol a lot. Oh, and their mom also started drinking. Yes. Slowly, the couple started fighting. My mom was drunk most of the time. While my stepdad was drunk too. And they were yelling at each other, and they were yelling at me, also yelling at my sister. Both of them were frustrated, and they used to show it on the kids. There was mental harassment, and sometimes physical harassment even. This is so sad. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Getting abused as a kid is terrible. I uh, had to deal with it later on in life. I went to uh, therapy, and it helped wonders. It was amazing. So did my sister. Both of us are completely fine now. We spoke to our mom countless of times about this, and my mom is extremely nice right now. Our lives could not be better. Dad was getting into big trouble. He was drunk most of the time and was into drug dealing. He'd taken money from many people and was having heavy financial crunch. Wasn't sure if my dad was into drug dealing. That's it. That was a theory we had. It's <laughs> just so you know. He also was not doing heroin. I'm pretty sure about that. He was not able to pay his bills. He used to do cocaine at home. He used to get hookers at home and then started selling off all the furniture and random stuffs at home to sustain. So I'm, I'm not sure what he did. It's not confirmed. He also didn't sell the furniture. He couldn't pay the bills. And the bill collector came over and took the furniture because he couldn't afford the bills. As things got worse and the kids stopped going to his place. Eventually, the creditors gave out a lookout notice for his dad and he couldn't stay in the country anymore. So when Jordy was around 15 years old, his dad left to Cambodia to work there. He had a lot of issues going on in his life, especially money issues. And that's why he left the country, went to Cambodia, which is on the other side of the world. Back at their home, their stepdad started taking money from their mom to support his university studies. He was doing university in Italy. Many times their mom and the stepdad fought and broke up and came back together. Yo, what? Do I like straight up not remember my own life or this is completely incorrect? I did not remember this. <laughs> but hey, maybe it's true. Who knows? If I said it, it's probably true. Back at their home, their stepdad started taking money from their mom to support his university studies. He was doing university in Italy. Many times their mom and the stepdad fought and broke up and came back together. Whenever he comes home, they'll drink together and abuse the kids. With his dad away at Cambodia and such a bad environment at home, Jordy decided to start his YouTube channel as a getaway. 
He'd already started a channel years before, but never uploaded anything. So when he was 16, on May 3rd, 2011, he uploaded his first ever video. Just so you know, when I uploaded my first ever video, uh, that was well before when I was 16. Also, my stepdad had left w like years ago. Ooh. <laughs> My That's me. Game volume was a bit Oh too no, loud. my videos are okay, so bad. Recording. <laughs> Meanwhile, his stepdad was caught cheating by Jordy's mom. He was. This time they broke up forever. Yeah. The man was cheating on her for the past two to three years. He was always lying. When they found out all this, Jordy and her sister were very unhappy. They knew that they're not going to be back together. They found out that he never did that university thing and was lying all this time. Oh, there you go. That's what happened. That's why I just realized it never happened because it was a lie. Also, we were really happy that they broke up, by the way. Things ended between Jordy's mom and stepdad for good. Their home became peaceful. During this time, he played lots of RuneScape. It's RuneScape, and I didn't play RuneScape 3. I played the OG, okay? He earned a lot of RuneScape money and sold his RuneScape money to someone for real money. Shh. He put that money, along with the money he got by selling his old PC, to buy a new PC. I did, The PC yes. was coming in parts and took a lot of time to get it assembled and start working. He was in high school and had one more year to finish. Jordy was very confused about whether to continue school or not. He wasn't a fan of studies, first of all. No. Nope. If he finished his school, everyone would want him to pursue university. And yes. he didn't think he'd do anything with a degree, even if he makes it there. He decided that he should give more effort into his channel. Yes. Welcome back, Cops. My name is Quavo Cops. And today we are <laughs> OG set up right there. Five today monitors. We're playing spins.io. So with his new PC and a new decision to make his channel active, he started uploading again from October 2012. Uh, August 27th, 2012 was the day that I started daily uploading. Get that right, please. Started uploading regularly, like every day. He started playing Minecraft. Along with yeah. Minecraft, there was Halo, Black Ops, Battlefield. Yeah. And he was becoming regular in his upload schedule. Yeah. Into these close quarters, I'm gonna... Oh. <clears throat> Oh, accidentally uh, what is this, in Fallout? A oh, Far damn Cry. it. There's Far a tiger over there. Let's not move, guys. And he was gaining views slowly. In May 2013, he gained 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. And it was at this point, Jordy decided to go full-time with his YouTube. Yes. He didn't go back to school. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cool here. And today we're face gaming. Yeah. So, since I uh, promised I someone so that we should, uh, we should do something in here. But like hey, something that's like only fun, thousand. right? So, today I have something special <laughs> for you guys. I got a birthday cake. Yeah. Actually, he thought of taking a year off from school and see where his channel goes. He kept on with his schedule of at least one video per day. By June 2014, he gained like 200,000 subs. Throughout 2014, he was uploading GTA gameplay videos. Mm -hmm. Jordy earned a dedicated fan base in his channel. Yeah. He made a community out there. In the meantime, Jordy became friends with Jelly and Josh. That's Jelly correct. and Josh have their own YouTube channels. Actually, Jordy messaged Josh as a fellow YouTuber and they got connected. Later, they met Jelly through his GTA 5 channel. No, 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 no. That's not wrong way. I met Jelly through his GTA 5 videos channel. We met up in person. Then me and Jelly became friends. And then we ran into Slogoman at Gamescom who introduced us through the Gaming Lemon. There you go. They three got along very well and eventually made a group called Robust. They played games together, went to meet and greets together. The friendship between the three of them was very familiar to each of their audience. <laughs> I don't even knew that though. <laughs> there you go. I'm not wearing any socks anymore either. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, you want to. Oh, I'll give you a chance. Towards the end of 2014, oh, video. the robust group started planning to move into a house and make videos. By February 2015, they finalized the place, named it the Robust Mansion. It was just Jelly me and Jordy me. moved in. Josh could not at that point. Yeah. Jelly and Jordy started making videos together from this mansion. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't oh, a mansion, yeah, it was a pretty normal house, by the way. Fresh haircut, Jilly. Yes. Yeah. Just for us. Just for you Just guys. For us. Yeah. So, uh, Jilly's finally here after how long was this? Two hours. By March 2015, Jordy's channel hit a million subscribers. Yes! Each of his videos was pulling around 500,000 views, and he was yes! strongly going on with GTA videos. In August 2015, he hit two million subs. He started a second channel, which is a vlog channel bought his own house and moved out of the robust mansion. That's correct. In September 2015, he put out a very special video 
In Aww. the video, Jordy was meeting his dad after seven years. His dad was in Amsterdam for a treatment. I haven't seen my dad in about seven years. Get ready to cry, since guys. I was 13, maybe 14 <laughs> years old. But a few months back, he suffered from two tears, which is basically a stroke in his brain. He wasn't able to talk. He wasn't able to walk. It was a very emotional video. His dad was very happy about Jordy's YouTube thing, and he talked to the viewers, and it was a moment to cherish. In October of 2016, Jordy made another video with his dad. His dad was not recovering after the last treatment. My dad was recovering. He actually recovered so much so that he could do a lot of the things he wanted to do again. But then he got another Tia, which is another, which is another issue with his brain. And then it got way, way, way worse. His health was deteriorating from that time. And Jordy and family came to know that he was in very bad condition in Cambodia. So Jordy and his sister shifted him from Cambodia to Netherlands and got him admitted into a hospital. Jordy did whatever he could to give his dad the best medical care and attention. However, his condition worsened and the family had to take a decision to end his pain. So here's a great life lesson, guys. Money can definitely not solve every problem. I did whatever I could. I, at the time, I said, whatever whatever you need, I'll get you, I'll get you the best doctors. I'll, I'll fly you out here with a doctor because you had to come all the way from Cambodia. It just shows that money cannot buy happiness. Money cannot solve all your problems, guys. I tried my best. In February 2017, Jordy shared with his viewers the saddest news that he could ever say. He just wanted it to end and he didn't want to suffer. So me and my sister, we decided to follow the advice of the of the doctors and, and they advised us to, to make it easy on him and to pretty much end the suffering. He was very proud of, proud of me, which is nice. Slowly, he got back to normal. His channel grew faster than ever. Starting to get emotional here, guys. So that kiss that you saw there was actually the last kiss I ever gave my dad. Um, something else which was beautiful, which he left out, was I met Azzy. I met my beautiful girlfriend, Azzy. And um, Azzy was the first girl that I introduced to my dad. The first girlfriend I ever introduced to my dad. And uh, he said uh, that she was beautiful. So that's why I always say that. As he has to be the one because she's the only one who met and my dad and my mom and they both approved of her. By the end of 2018, he had 9 million subscribers. As of now, he has 11 million subscribers in his channel. Mostly he does reaction videos, fun experiments and basically entertaining stuff. I think Jordy's a real gem. He went through a lot of difficulties and made it through all of it. Difficulties in your childhood can make you or break you. At such a young age, we don't know how to react when we're put through horrible situations. One can easily become a rebel and ruin their life. And far majority of cases end up that way. This is where Jordy comes out as a hero. He took all those as fuel and always tried to plow his way out. Jordy always tells in his videos that he'll never give up and that's the strongest Man, this guy's so nice. All his what the heck? What a beautiful video. It was, I would say, about 97% accurate. There were a few small things that were inaccurate, but then again, I might have said those things and that's how he came to the conclusion and, and that's how he wrote the script. Now, I say a lot of stuff, so a lot of stuff is probably inaccurate too. Where am I now? My mom is wonderful. My sister is wonderful. We're all doing really well. I've processed the, the entire situation with my dad and my childhood and if you are in, an, in a situation like this or you've experienced something like this, Go and seek help. Go talk to a therapist. For me, that helped like crazy. You did not believe it. It was just me sitting down with this person talking for an hour a day. And uh, it made my life so much better. Thank you, cops, for all the amazing support, too. And uh, that was actually a pretty good video. Bye-bye.